Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money. Back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. We are here. Yes, the doctor's here. Dr. Boxing Talk, where we give you nothing but boxing news that is accurate, unbiased, and from an educational, satirical, funny, and fun perspective. You know what I'm saying? Funny and fun. That was kind of redundant, but you get what I'm talking about. So I literally just got off the live boxer stream where we were talking about none other than the Haney Garcia fiasco that's been going on, Ryan missing all that way. But today, I have some other news to tell you, man. Bud is getting a fight for real this time. Finally. Finally. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, he, he's going to go. Well, I'm going to show you. I can show you, but I can tell you, man. The sources are from ESPN. So, if they wrong, go at their head top, not at mine. You feel me? So, let's check it out right here. I'm going to pull it up right on the screen. Give me some time. Give me some time. Be patient with your boy. There it is right there. I know it's hard for y'all to see, but don't worry. We're gonna, you're going to check it. I'm going to read it to you right now. Sources say Terrence Crawford to fight Israel Madrimov for title, man. So Terrence Crawford, who's the number one pound for pound fighter in a lot of people's opinions. Uh, in my opinion, he's number one, followed by Nadia anyway, number two, and Canelo number three. Yes, he has been talking with uh, Turkey Alashik, as we have saw on Twitter and stuff like that. We confirmed that in the last video, but we heard some rumors and some rumblings about Jermel Charlo trying to, I don't want to say interfere with that, but trying to get his opportunity to fight Is 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 uh, Israel Madrimov as well, as, as, as he deserves. You know, he was the champion of recess, but according to these sources, Jermel Charlo does not have an issue with um Terrence Crawford, Terrence Bud Crawford getting a crack at him first. So though, so all that stuff talk about PBC and all this stuff trying to block Terrence Crawford. Shut up, bitch! Oh my God! man just enjoy boxing man chill out with the with the slander and all this speculation that you don't really know if you don't know you know what i'm talking about so that what we do know is that according to espn uh august 3rd is the date for the pound for pound king to return ha! the king has returned and guess what it's in conjunction and 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 it's cooperation with Turkey Alashik in Saudi Arabia, but this will be the first event held outside of Saudi Arabia because it will be held right here as it shows in Los Angeles, August third in Los Angeles, man. Now, why did they pick Los Angeles? Beast the hell out of me. <laughs> You know, I don't know what ties, you know, Crawford's from Nebraska. Uh, I believe Madrimov's from Uzbekistan. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure. Um, but anyway, so they'll be fighting. Um, am I that excited about this opponent? Well, Madrimov has, what, 10, 10 wins and, and one draw. So he has 11 fights in total. Fairly new on the scene. He just obtained a belt. Uh, it was the uh, WBA belt that he won um, from a vacant. He, he won it because they had a vacant uh, it was a vacant title when he won it off of Kubramov, you know, which was a great fight. I believe he stopped him in five rounds. It was a great fight while it lasted, though. So, um, yeah, so that's how uh, uh, Israel Madrimov got it. I think that um, he's 29 years old. Uh, and I, I don't really I really don't really have much to say about him. You know, I don't really have too much too high of expectation for him, but he looks good. You know, he reminds me of a mini uh, Golovkin with his pressure style. You know, I'm not saying he's the caliber of fighter that Golovkin was yet. I think it's too early to determine that. But I do think he's very good. I would like to see, but the, 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 thing, the part that I don't understand, if you're going to go with Turkey Alashik, now, you know, Bud has been wanting a big a big opponent, you know, and, and, and granted, this would be his first time moving up to 154. So this accomplishes that. But, you know, he wanted to generate a lot of revenue. I'm not sure if this opponent does that. However, it is with Turkey Alashik of Saudi Arabia. So, you know, they, 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 they spending that cake. So it might be inconsequential who he fights. But that's the problem right there, right? If it doesn't matter who you fight, you're going to get paid. Why not fight Boots? But then also, you got to consider that he does want to move up because the ultimate goal is what? Canelo. So this brings him one more step closer to Canelo or a fight with Charlo, which is which are both bigger fights than Boots, obviously. So, you know, there's always an out for somebody. You know, we want to see Bud versus Boots. But at the same time, we, Bud does deserve to get what he wants, and that's to exercise his right as a prize fighter. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. It's a short, sweet video, man. Bud has returned August 3rd in Los Angeles. Hey, it is what it is, man. Y'all be easy. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. Peace. Love y'all, man. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.